In 1935, Mr Davis was having car trouble. He was under the bonnet when along came Mr Bunn in his motor van. As he approached, the rim and tyre of one wheel came off his van. The van careered across the road and struck Mr Davis, injuring him. In court, Mr Davis did not bring direct evidence to show any breach of duty by Mr Bunn. Instead, he invited the court, in this case including the jury, to simply find it obvious that Mr Bunn must have been negligent because otherwise the wheels would have stayed where they belonged. This approach is called res ipsa liquita, Latin for the thing speaks for itself. The idea is that something so obvious needs no additional evidence. Mr Bunn, however, brought evidence suggesting that the steering arm of his van had broken, causing the wheel to come off, and that this was not something that any driver could be expected to know about or prevent. The High Court challenge focused on procedural issues. However, a few of the judges, and in particular Justice Evett, took the opportunity to make some observations about the doctrine of res ipsa liquita and how it operates in negligence cases. The first key point was that the plaintiff always bears the burden of proving that the defendant was negligent. It's really up to the plaintiff how they decide to do that. They can do it by tendering evidence, or they can do it by asking the court to find that the negligence was obvious and that the thing speaks for itself. However, if the defendant brings forward evidence that the injury might equally have happened without them being negligent, then the plaintiff must, as a matter of logic, they must fail, because it's no longer possible to say that the situation is so obvious that it speaks for itself. Justice Evett said that if the defendant has shown facts from which it appears that the injury to the plaintiff is quite as consistent with the absence as with the presence of negligence, the plaintiff should fail because he can no longer weigh down in his favour the balance of probabilities, and that he must always do. In this case, the defendant had brought forward evidence suggesting the accident might have happened without negligence, and the jury should have weighed up the two stories before making their decision. Mm -hmm.